Yeah. Hold on. Is it on, Craig? Yeah, it's on. It's on. It's recording. Oh, you. So I can do my intro. You can do your intro. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recorded? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grind the Scruff, BGC Jack, Facebook Periscope, and last but not least, every single one. What? Every single one. <laughs> one. Of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme. Which one? Supreme. The highest of them all. Supreme. <laughs> That's Miss Mary rolling around in the chair. In the oh, yes, yeah, honey. Supreme Court. <laughs> podcast honey and this is our pre-show post-show whatever it is honey this is our show and tonight honey we have our very special guest judge is miss sophia she's not here yet but she'll be here the honey mouth of the south yeah you think miss sophia the mouth of the south you know that's what they call her let me tell you something i haven't found a queen more funnier than miss sophia Baby. not one dragon living <laughs> Not one dragon yeah. living. That's that could funny. Be timing is Girl, yeah. she's funny, honey. Yeah. You know, she she's always been funny. Like I always admired Sophia as a child. You know, that lets you know that she's like. Oh, she's your senior. She's your elder. Oh, she's my elder's elder. So you know, she's. Oh. A, I'm gonna let her know that tonight, honey. So by the way, you're my elder. Yeah, you're my grandmother's mother. So I mean. She's an old queen, honey, and ain't nothing like a good nasty read from an old queen. Yes, I'm very proud of her because, you know, to be honest with you, Sophia is actually Medea. Well, you know. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm going. I'm not holding none of that oh. stuff back tonight, dear. I, I hope that you won't. I'm not holding any of that back, yeah. and I and I'm not even going to ask her. So uh, she may hear this podcast later. Right. I'm going to hit it right. So, Sophia, how you feel about uh, Medea up there? Your whole, all your, stuff. your entire character up right. there, because I know I go through the same thing, honey, with certain people in the industry as well. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, so once again, step your pussy up. But oh, like yeah. I said. <laughs> Craig, you're missing. You love every. Minute. I love it. I love it. You love every minute. But you know, but legend has it, you know, going all the way back to 2002. That was when Sophia and I first worked together, and Tyler hadn't done any plays. I mean, he was only doing plays at that time. You mean Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry. The have and the have not. Correct. Oh, the the one that's playing my dear now. Okay. Yeah, aka Sophia McIntosh. Correct. And there were people calling Sophia from across this country saying, Girl, I thought this was you in these Medea plays. Because again, at the time, Tyler hadn't done any movies. He was only doing plays and they were on DVD. Yeah, like right now we're doing the, the right. tour right. of the show before right. we, you know, we, you know, make the hit the mega millions. Right. And people kept saying, "Are you suing him, girl? You need to sue him." You know, he would pull the gun out the purse and bop around with the breasts. And, you know, Sophia was doing all of that stuff at the Monday Night Show, the Stars of the Century. Yeah. Back then. Yeah, I know this because but you can't you can't copyright like a, an I can't, act. Uh, a yes, act. you can kind of copyright an act. You can. Well, I, well, I, why yeah. But you? it's just, but this is the thing. You feel like that you do it so much, and you know, so and you, it's it's mm-hmm. your stitch that if anybody else. You know, touches right. it. That's People know exactly about, who yeah. it is. You know, and I've been victim to that a lot. You know, what I'm saying, I lots of lots of times. Really? Yeah, I have. Like, th- there are lots of girl. What do you think the the whole world started boo doing? Yes. Oh, okay. And they forget the origination. Not not that I not that I originated. Yes, it wasn't that I originated. Yes, mm-hmm. it was. The it was the yeah. the context of the way that it was delivered. You know what I'm saying? New weave, 22 inches. Yes. I'm the reason that a lot of things have ha- happened in this world. What about oh. the, the, the wigs? I heard rumors that you like started this like bright wig wearing. Well, that wasn't me. That was Little Kim. She was before me. Oh, she's she's Kim. also my elder. But um, <laughs> and that's envy in the background talking. Yes, yeah, envy the makeup. Envy, when you gonna stop putting some of this good cream on me? These creams on my face in a minute. Okay, well, she's always putting good creams on. So when y'all out there looking at me and looking at how gorgeously, yes. deliciously sweet, girl, you do okay. Oh, Craig, you can listen, daughter. Girl, girl, you, girl, Here we go. You, girl you do okay. Lord, okay. daughter, don't do too much. And first of all, you're pushing the mic too close to your <laughs> mouth. Know. This is my show. It's about, it's about you. Me. <laughs> it's always about me. <laughs> Me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna hear quiet. You're gonna hear water running, pots popping, <laughs> shuffling in the. You're gonna hear chairs rolling, honey. Miss Mary is here in the house, honey. Yes. 
right, child, yeah. Miss Mary. We got Miss Mary all the way down here from the great sun, from the Sunshine State. <laughs> you remember how the girl she did that in the past? All the way from the Sunshine State, the Miami, Florida. Yeah. What was that, Miss Mary? <laughs> so you can talk junk, the water running, the chair moving. Yeah. Listen, we just letting the kids know when they start complaining about the noise level right, in the background. Right, right, right. We just. Miss Mary, just Mary has spoken. <laughs> Eleanor has spoken, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited about this docket tonight, though. We got a lot of funny stuff on here. Well, we got a lot of funny stuff, you know, but. You know, just lots of things in general, honey. We got Caitlyn, no balls, no walls, Jenna. Oh my God! You know, we're gonna talk about her. You know, uh, we're also gonna talk about Megan Kelly. Mm-hmm. Like, girl, what possesses these white folks to do the things that they do? Even though I love my white brother and sister, it's just like things you can't do, girl. We're in a different time. And I just, I just, I refuse to make excuses for white folks who are intellectually lazy. In 2018, not to know that you shouldn't be talking about it's okay to do blackface. Well, here we go with this stuff with Craig. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Craig is very pro-black, and, and I'm okay with it, but Craig is... <laughs> well, one thing with you being pro-black, you must also be pro who you really are. Correct. Because you being pro-black has nothing to do with who you really are. Anyway, I'm going to move on to... And you're gay. <laughs> You are gay. I walk and stand in my truth, niece. Well, that you may walk and stand in your truth, but your brothers and sisters that you fight so diligently for... Not all of them. You're right. Don't walk and stand in your truth with you. Correct. You're right. But that's why the work that I do, the work that you do, the work that we do, continues to work towards that or work against that. Yeah. You know, and, I, and also, we've had this conversation before. I'm sorry. I hit your breast. I'm sorry. Oh, that was my pistol you just hit. Oh, sorry. Don't... Can you tap that thing? Oh, you just gonna put it out. Girl, don't point it towards me. I know the safety is on and everything, but girl. You sure it's on you? She stay ready. That was the pistol touching the table. Look, it's facing envy now. So. Well, it's facing the computer. I'm yeah, yeah. You will huh. be covered and in blood. <laughs> it will never <laughs> lose its power. Neither will that pistol. Yeah. But you know, you and I have had this conversation before. You can't convert everybody to, to the way of thinking and being accepting, and that's okay. And I'm fine with that, it's but I'm but I'm also don't 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 harass me right. or don't argue me because I'm not front line anymore. I used to be front line with a lot of things that comes with 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 uh, with our issues because mm-hmm. before I'm anything I'm human and then after mm-hmm. I'm human I'm black. Mm-hmm. Then after I'm black I'm I'm gay. Then after I'm gay I'm trans. Then mm-hmm. after I'm trans, honey, I'm queer trans. Like you know all of this right. stuff falls in line. But yeah. but before I'm anything I'm human. Yeah. Human. Second I'm black. Okay, I feel like that I should be able to find refuge in my own. Right. There's no refuge in my own. There's now. I won't say that all of our our African American people are that way because you know they're not. They don't all have that that right. thinking, you know. But what 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 really works my nerves is that this belief system that they have is based on religion. All of it stems from It's religion. based yeah. on religion It's it's based and embedded In something that was Given to us Yeah Yeah You know So I mean I'm not gonna go deep into that Because I don't wanna take this podcast Into that Not <laughs> right. today So but But speaking of Black people And all that kind of stuff We are gonna talk about The young lady that was on Dr. Phil Oh who yeah. think she's white? Well, obviously, well, you didn't see the update to that that her family came out and stated that they are that she disgraced them. I need you to go in the comment section, right. Craig. Like I, I, told you. I did see that. Our family said that, that she disgraced them. Mm-hmm. Disgraced them because they're not just black; they're black, black. I said, "Oh, y'all niggas." Right. Well, you know the folk they've been trying to send her uh, Facebook page to, but we're not going to use that because like, I don't want people to be yeah. you know, yeah. chasing and hunting her down. Yeah, we're not going to use we're not going to use my platform to do that. Right. She did that interview. I feel like she opened herself. Yeah, she did. That will come her way. But what the TS is not going to do is I'm not going to be a part of her lynching. Right. She Absolutely. possibly would have been a part of mine, honey, if it came. Right, right. But I'm not going to do that. But my thing is, she's a minor too, though. So who who were her parents or guardian that allowed her to go on to? On I, I don't know. But Craig, listen now. Now, who was really on trial here for me? And if you can add this to the docket, uh-huh. is Jerry Springer, Doctor Phil. Mm-hmm. I saw that. Maury Povich. Remember I sent yeah, that? Yeah. Can you please pull that up from where yeah. I sent that to you? And we're gonna because that's making, that's who I really want to put on trial. Because these television shows have 20, 30 year runnings. 20 years. We don't have we 
something. We don't have we don't have these long running shows in our community about we can we can't do that to white people. We're not going to be able to do that mm-hmm. to white people. You understand what I'm saying? We're not going to have the show like the what, where's Rolanda? Show remember Rolanda? Girl, I remember her with the wow. highest uh, show the past. That's like a blast from the past. Rolanda, Rolanda remember? On yes. the whites. Well, where are these shows that Bertie's like, Berry? You remember her? No, I don't. Now you, <laughs> your age is showing, Craig. You yeah. know you're. She was right there with Rolanda. You know, you're decades, you're decades older than me. Yes, Bertiz Berry had the little natural, she had the locks. I don't remember that. I don't. So, but you know, I do remember Rolanda Mm because I was like, girl, my name is Rolanda, you know, but on Fridays. But you know, the thing about it is, like, when you look at people, they're the ringmasters to these exactly, shows exactly. and whatever. And, like, they, these black people really get up there. And, and they've tried to recruit me on numerous occasions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mama, what was that man name they were trying to get? The Bill Cunningham? Oh, I remember him. Um, he was, wasn't he British or something? No, he's white. No, he's well, white. British is white, but, you know. But I th- I'm thinking about the other guy. It was another guy. But Bill crazy. Cunningham tried to recruit me numerous times. Oh, really? Bill Cunningham. To come on there and talk about what? Jerry Springer has tried to recruit me. And, you know, each time that I got down to... Hold on a second. The water's running. Baby, it looks like Kim. Baby, this if y'all can see the way Miss Mary's eyes... You would be dead right here at this table. Baby, if you can see the blaze, the blade runners coming from Miss Mary's eyes. Okay. But listen, so my thing is... You know, they tried to recruit me several times. Mm-hmm. And my answer to them was, okay, well, what's the compensation package? They said, oh, we'll give you um, two coach tickets to, in a hotel to nice Chicago day. in a hotel room. We'll do your hair and makeup. But you're going to get on TV. I'm like, daughter, are you crazy? Right. And you want me to be on there pulling pulling hair, throwing it? But we fall into that because we've been so conditioned to feel like the television is the end all be all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Have we not? No, that's, yeah. that's very true. Yeah, I mean, people still do it today. They, they, they. I don't want to use the term "sell out," but they kind of exp- they open themselves up to just about anything and everything mm-hmm. for an opportunity that for they feel fame. is going to come through television. And many of us have been ruined mm-hmm. because of television in the same capacity. Yeah, so. it's true. Um, of course, we have more of the these uh, white women that are. Asking people for their credentials in their apartment community. This woman in Charlotte. So we're going to talk about that. She's like, I'm white and high. Right. I'm white and I'm high. And I make $125,000. I make $125,000. I'm still going to make $125,000. Well, she got fired. Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See you, niece. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ashanti. Oh, honey. Oh. Go on and tell them. What we- <laughs> no, we're going to talk about it on the show. We're going to talk about it on the show. And if you're listening to this after you've watched the show, you know why. You know what, right. you know what we've done. Anyway, <laughs> and yes, that was Shay. <laughs> the Titanic. Girl, y'all trying to do another Titanic? A real life Titanic. Like they're going to take the same exact, exact route that the original boat took. And I think it's, I got to look up the year, but they're planning on doing it like 2000, maybe 22 or 19, something. But I got to look at the year. Like, Girl, the gag. You don't want to know the gag. Yeah. You want to know the gag. The gag is that same boat that's going to capsize. That, that, that same uh, glacier <laughs> is going to be right there. If they ain't moved the glacier, they don't use it for them to put the new boat out there. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is. They, they need to just make a plane and call it the Titanic and fly across there and right. just let it be. And just be done with it. Let it be done. Live that kind of thing. Like, I don't know. Child, it's like, people like have been obsessed with like recreating that ship. Yeah. Like there have been many attempts since the the, the the sinking of the Titanic, trying to do the same thing over again. I'm Girl, just, that's just like being in an awful relationship, honey. You know, just want to getting out of it and then revisiting it, mm-hmm. revisiting it again, honey. Like let's recreate that man. Mm-hmm. He had some good dick. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked me across my head a couple times. But you know, it was all worth it. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, was it really all worth it? Was it? Come on, sis. Come over here and start putting this glu- this glu- glucose on my face. Fifty cent. Oh, honey, fifty cent is one shady lady. <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> fifty cent. You'll be in charge of being a shady lady. Would you fuck fifty cent? Down. Really? I think he got a big old. No, he don't. No, he don't. We've he seen don't? it on Power. We, he don't, Cheryl. Oh. That's probably the problem, honey. That's disappointing. Craig, you know your dick ain't big either, so that's what that's why you're. Cool. I don't know. You I ain't never had no complaints. Ain't nothing wrong with you having complaints. I ain't never had no complaints. Yeah, because they say your all with your dick can't do your tongue, dude. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Miss Mary, why you looking like that? <laughs> 
Miss Mary, tell the people how all of the boys are trying me at the shows and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of the shows, ladies and gentlemen, yes. let's hear it, hear it from our real sponsors, which is me. Run that, run that, Craig, please. Washington, D.C. Is you live? Is you live, ho? Boss, are you Ooh. live? Oh, yes, honey. The Queen's Supreme uh, is bringing the seat to your city. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We need you to stop what you're doing right now and get over to www.eventbrite.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Washington, D.C. Now, don't you sit around here and wait for those tickets to sell out because they're going to burn up fast, honey. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Funky Dineva Ross. Tiffany Parlor and T.S. Madison is about to come and shake your city down, baby. That's right. Don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. <laughs> See you soon, boy. Child Craig, you ready? We done real that commercial break. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure you gather your tickets for Washington, D.C., November the 12th, because we're going to be live, live, and in color in your city. Oh, yes, girl, honey. We trying to really tour out, Craig. What? The tour been doing pretty good. The girls been coming out, honey. We're going to have to get a bigger venue space. We've been holding three, four hundred. Right, right. We de- it's definitely been good. I mean, listen, it's been, it's been amazing. I mean, it's really been good to see. It's really contagious to see that, to feel the energy of the people when we get there. The doors are always open at 8 o'clock. Folk are always lined up at 7.30. Man, them folks get there because, listen, one thing about it, we start our shows on time. Yeah, we do. Now, we we might do. be at home on color folks' time, but, baby, when we in them buildings, we, in them buildings. we on them nigga folks' time, and they're like, hey, hey. We, I pride myself on being able to entertain people live because that's 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 in my DNA. Mm-hmm. To, and, and I mean, and we make it more interactive. Well, it's gonna be interactive because the people come out. We have a good listen. Yeah. Listen, the people that come out and actually have fun here at the house, they have fun here at the house. We have fun. We eat. Mm-hmm. You know, they do the same thing there. They just have to spend their money, honey. Right. <laughs> and you know, like there are a lot of people that message me and message you talking about. You know, why haven't you guys posted the live videos? Like somebody got in my comments today and I was just like, listen, that's just, that's a luxury that we afford the people who come. Like we don't. We I don't. mean, it's not that I'm not going to post the video. I'm, I'll eventually down the line post it as a premiere on my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like this, like, girl, get your tickets. Right. We may not be in your city. And, you know, listen, th- I, and you want me to tell you how I honestly mother feel? You weren't appreciating it when I was giving it to you guys on the on a on a on an everyday basis. It was it was complaining. Oh, did, I don't like this guest. It's not funny. The show is boring, and I zzz, I'm going to bed. Uh-huh. All the the comments, and then then we leave for two weeks, and it's all of a sudden like where y'all at? Where y'all we y'all like we can kill the world. It's when like the show coming back. Listen, I don't care. And they, uh, look at it, and then they wanted to rate the show on how the numbers. Oh, the numbers used to be this and the other, and look at them now. Well, baby, listen, the numbers in that room speak for themselves. <laughs> because it's one thing to have a million followers, but can you get a million people in those seats right. when it's time to do it? We can. Right. We can do it. Yes, indeed. So my thing is, you know, a reason why I don't post it immediately mm-hmm. after whatever, you know, I, it all it's up to my it's my show, so it's my right. decision. And that don't mean that I've abandoned the fan because I seen somebody saying, Oh, you abandoned the people that started you. No, 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 no. I've been there. Right. I've been there. I've been there. I, I done fell down in front of you. People don't walk down in front of you. Light stuff went out. The system done went down. And I done been right there. Mm-hmm. Y'all been reading me for filth through all the times. Mm-hmm. And now when the tables turn for me to be out there coming to see the people that really, really are there and really love the show. Because mm-hmm. those people that come out and they spend that money, they are the ones that really, right. really, right. really love that show. And I mean, there were people who who have been at both shows. You know what I mean? So it's just the, the, the two that we've done... So the, no, have we done two? Or no, no three. three. We've done three. We've done yeah, three. we've done three. You so know, and they, each show it, the tickets sell faster with every show. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying? You know because like we have such a good time. It's so much positive energy in the room. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 let me tell you something. 
I put the birthday show up. Mm-hmm. People down there in the comment section, oh, Chrissy won this, or Lonnie won this. And I say, see, this one I didn't want to put right, the show up. Right, right, right. Hold on, we have a, we have a moving, moving train around. <laughs> I said, this is why I didn't want to put the show up. I, I really said that I read the stuff, and I was like, this is, this is the reason why I did not want to put the show up. Girl, Miss Mary be looking at you like. <laughs> Miss Mary be looking at you. <laughs> Miss Mary, what you thinking, Miss Mary? Mm. But Craig, how do you feel about what I'm saying? No, I, I totally agree. Like when I went through the comment section and I was reading because I was reading it like because this was this was gonna it was ba it was the, it, the comments made it contingent on if I'm gonna just go right, ahead and upload right. the show or not. Because I personally thought we should have just did pieces. Okay. Oh, I'm oh, and and yeah. from those comments, that's um, all they're gonna get yeah. is pieces. Because I think what happens is the people who make the and it's not everybody, it's not everybody, but the people who do make the negative comments, I think they make those comments to make themselves feel better for not actually coming to the show, the live show. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, well, I ain't really missed nothing. No, nah, bitch, you did. Miss, yeah, oh, you you missed yeah, lots, baby, because yeah. we had a good time. Yeah. We and had we a good time. Do, like especially for our VIP um, guests. We always try to do a little something sweet for the VIP people because you do pay a little extra. Even though you're going to get the meet and greet with all of the guests and take your pictures and stuff no, like that. No, we're not meet and greeting if they didn't get the meet and greet tickets. Right. If you do, if you purchase the meet and greet, you do get the meet and greet. But we also, in addition to that, we try to always give a little something to the people. Yeah, who all the time. But, but the, my thing is, it's just like you can't. You can't never please, so that's yeah. why I don't really overly try, you know? Right. And when I was going through the comments, I was like, okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you guys the whole show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you pieces. I may, I may give you 30 minutes of it. I may right. break up, I may break up, you know, six, five-minute pieces of the show mm -hmm. and give you that, you know what I'm saying? And then also, it's not always just that we just don't want to show you the show, it's also because during the live show, I saw it, because during the live show, we're playing music and stuff. We incorporate music, like I was saying a few moments ago. The show is different from the show that we do on Facebook Live. So we have music going on, and we can't play all of that music. We can't upload that because of copyright. Right, and stuff like that. You know? So it's just too much work to try to edit all of that stuff out. And you know what I mean? So that's the other reason. It's not just because we're trying to punish you for not coming. Right, we're definitely not, not punishing you, but we're definitely rewarding you for spending your money. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're rewarding you for spending your change, girl. Like, so if you anywhere near DC, get your right. tickets for November twelfth. On November twelfth. Listen and keep your eye open for where we for for the places where we're going to be. Right, because we're looking at venues in different cities. So we're uh, we don't have any other dates confirmed just yet, but we're looking at New Orleans. We're looking at Philadelphia. We're also looking in the Carolinas. So just be mindful. Just stay tuned to the show and, and put your little twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars to the side, girl. <laughs> Put it to the side. You know I'm And come on out. Yeah, come on out. Put it to right. the side. Like, you can't sit out there and wait mm -hmm. on this. I'm just going to wait on it to show on it. No, because you're not going to get that, niece. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And tell those, thank, thank the commenters, kids. Thanks, kid. Thanks, dad. Right. Right. Thank so, those folks in the comment section that be with the bush, that be with the go, with the rah rah. Oh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I really, I'm like, okay, girl, well, you know. But I actually love doing the live show. I do. I really. I do. like doing both. I like. Do I like I doing both too. But it's just it's good to get that feedback and that energy from mm -hmm. the people live. You know what I mean? They they're just so excited. They they just be so excited to meet everybody and to see everybody and just to be there and to, to participate. You know, because we'll pass the mic out in the audience sometimes and get feedback from them on the different cases that we're deliberating. What time is it, Craig? It is seven twenty-one. And now you see how production hit us, and knowing that he's an hour away. Mm -hmm. This yeah. what I be. This what I be reading. Right, right. This this <laughs> what makes me read the way I do. <laughs> All right, well, because that means Sophia's gonna beat you here. Yeah, Sophia's definitely gonna beat him here. And then it's and and we're not gonna be. It's it's. Huh. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead on because I've got a little heated real quick, and we're gonna mm -hmm. be back once Sophia walks in. Hopefully, production comes in maybe ten minutes later. Right. All right, y'all. Yes. You better come in and let us know the vote. Yes. Well, listen, I don't know the date. <laughs> how you doing, my love? Fine, how are you? Okay. Hey. Mama, this is the funniest queen alive. You don't even know. No, I'm not. This how is the funniest queen alive. She done, 
See, like coming here with old nasty pop on. Do you want vegan or do you want some meat? Oh, uh, <laughs> there is an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I eat meat. Because Miss Mary done made some chili over here, honey. She said it's cold out. She said, baby, because it's cold outside. Some chili. You can sit right there. Um, no. So we got it. So Come on. We're going to do, do a little bit of the podcast. Production to be here. We should we should start the show on time. And excuse me. I keep some pistol everywhere I go. You what? I keep some Girl, pistol. Girl, put that up. <laughs> oh, that, well, <laughs> 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 okay. What you got to put on me? A lash. Okay. All right. I'm gonna print you um what we you know what we're gonna talk about tonight on the show. I'm still moving some stuff around, so if there's something you wanna add to it, we can. We'll just do it. We could go off of this. We can just go off of this first. Okay. All right, everybody. Child, honey, the time has come, baby. When I tell you, Miss Sophia has stepped up in the room, honey, giving us governess, (laughs) giving us governess realness, bitch. You know, giving us governance realness, honey. So, you know, tonight's tonight's show is sponsored by Slutty Vegan. And mind you, Slutty Vegan is outside with the long truck, honey, giving us some old vegan burgers, vegan patties, and things of that nature. But, bitch, listen, Miss Mary done been back there. She done cooked a whole nasty pot of chili, old nasty kidney beans and onions and things, honey, with straight lean, no, excuse me, with, with, with raw hide beef in the chili. <laughs> Sitting back there, she say, boo, what, what, what you... Hold on, she talking. Hold on, yeah, hold on. <laughs> she got you yes, she are. Okay, so she had to ask me, boo, what you think I should do with the chill? I said, mama, leave it out. Everybody and he ain't vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce my co-host for tonight, honey, Miss Sophia. Sophia! Hey, girl! Hey, girl! What's going on? Child, listen, the children, listen, I had posted that picture with, with you up there on the thing. The chir- Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, Miss Mary, talking. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you know what? <laughs> yeah. Miss Mary, talking, young. <laughs> we got the. Yeah. Miss Mary, talking. You, you finished, Miss Mary? You finished? I ain't gonna never be finished. <laughs> Can, get, can we show Baguette some hostility? Some hot, some what? You see, she got, you see, she got the word right. Uh-huh. Sophia, before we even you, I got to show you this. Now, we've been taking a book of words that Miss Mary been using. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm flipping through the book. Okay, so we've been taking a... Okay, so here in this page of the book, the word Miss Mary been using... Miss Mary's word is humility. Humility. I found out that humility and humidity are the same words to this man. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm also finding out that organic and gorganic are the same word to this man. <laughs> Ooh. I'm also finding out that Demeter and demeanor are the same thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Also, I'm finding out that a, that you can eat an orange or an orange. <laughs> an orange. Or it all depends on if you got on the little paws, if you're orange or orange. <laughs> I'm also finding out, honey, that Queen Latifah's name is not Queen Latifah, it's Queen Leticia. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, and when you have a when you have a you know how you have a, a vision. You don't. You know how you visualize? It's visionized. Miss <laughs> 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 Mary, don't let her do like that. And the last word of the night that I, that I go that I can remember is footsies. Footsies. Yes. What is you know. That? You, you know how you have two feet. Yeah. Miss Mary got footsies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sophia's in the house. <laughs> Sophia! Hey, Madison. Sophia, what's been going on, girl? Nothing, girl. Just working and staying out of trouble, trying to keep my head above water like everybody else. Well, Sophia, send me an invoice tonight. I got you, child, honey. I don't know how much it is, how much it is I got you. I work like a slave. Baby, let me tell you. <laughs> you should have booked me, like, last week and flew me out here. Well, you... <laughs> 
<laughs> but I think I'm in Mississippi. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call in tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you talking about how far I stayed? Oh my God, Shout nothing but trees. Then the driver asked me, "Are there deers out here, baby? I don't know nothing about these parts. You don't know about these parts? No, man. Child, don't act like a trade ain't never took you back out here when you was doing trade things. Now nah, mm-hmm. you ain't always been the we same. We went north. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all was getting away from the slave now. Yes. <laughs> So tonight, we have an array of things that we're going to talk about on the, on the court ledger. Um, for me, what's working my spirit the most on this court ledger is Caitlyn Jenner. <sighs> what is Caitlyn doing? Caitlyn Jenner is tonight, she's being charged with being a dumb, rich, white hoe. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, you well, can't... Now, all of a sudden, she wants to say that... She- she don't you see how you got Stacey Abrams as governor? You came in with the voting spirit. When you walked in my house, you brought the voting spirit with you. Yes. The voting spirit came in. Listen, I was like, damn, when I saw you, I saw governance all over you. <laughs> I was like, governess Sophia. <laughs> but Caitlyn want to really go through. Now you feel like the Trump. Did you got that picture? I saw you Trump don't support oh. us. When has Trump supported us? White lady, we told you this from the door. You weren't listening. <laughs> yeah, okay. From USA Today. Yeah. You see them strong hands? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> we also going to talk about Megan Kelly. Megan? Uh-huh. We're going to talk about... pregnant. About- Megan Kelly pregnant? Megan? No. Megan good? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the Titanic 2. They want to make another Titanic. <laughs> and sail the same route as the original one. Mm. In 2022, that's the year. Okay. Hold on, y'all, Mr. Mayor. Move some tissue paper back down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your mama's going to mess you up. Uh, <laughs> make sure you make that clear. It ain't going to be rallying paper. That was Ibby. Ibby, well, come over here and put on this last, la- this last, last, honey, when you get a chance. Uh, We're going to talk about Dr. Phil and that black girl. What's mm. her name? Was Tasha? Oh, I got to look it up. I got it right Craig, here. Craig, you got, see, you're supposed to be on top. I have it right here, but I don't know her name right now. <laughs> How you had a story you don't know her name? I, I got, okay, look, I'm going to tell and you. You sure it's Dr. Phil? <laughs> it, is, it is Dr. Phil. It is Dr. Phil. Hold on. Okay, we'll go back to that while Craig look it up. 50 Cent. We're talking about 50 Her Cent. Name is Tiara. Okay, please make sure you put these in the notation yeah. so I don't be up there saying the girl from Dr. Phil. <laughs> I got it. 50 Cent and Ja Rule. You know that's on there. <laughs> we got Ashanti. Ashanti, what is she doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We got the man that drove to another state to cut off his ex girlfriend's new boyfriend's dick. <laughs> oh, he yeah, acting like Lorena Bobby. Uh huh. And, Craig, you, not, you ain't really putting that on. We're going we gonna to briefly talk about Nicki Minaj and uh, Cardi. Cardi B. Oh, we're going to talk about Cardi B. Because yeah. Nicki Minaj, right about now, she ain't doing nothing. <laughs> She's finished. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Say one oh, more yeah. thing. I got you. Yes, <laughs> Miss yes, Evelyn Braxton. We want all of this. We want all of this good energy. So we're not going to talk about it on the podcast. We are encouraging you guys. To, to watch the show and even if like go back and watch if you if you hear the podcast before you watch the show go back and watch it now Sophia please tell us what's going on in your life like right now I want to know what's going on in your life you got a man you got a woman oh <laughs> you know I'm very secretive about my private life so that we would, we would not be discussing tonight okay all right no I'm just lying I've always heard people say this so I've always <laughs> wanted to say <laughs> Are you saved? Are you, are you I'm spiritual? I'm single. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the only reason I decided to come over here and do this show with you because I know Miss Mary uh-huh. is saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. And where there are two or three gathered, <laughs> he will be in the midst. Hallelujah! In a shot, not a more shot. And listen, let me tell you something. There are two or three more gathered over there in that chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You are a man. <laughs> 
<laughs> look at that fiction. Look at that me. <laughs> but yeah. But I am single. I am single. And I'm just enjoying life right now. You know, they say when you hit a certain age, you just start doing girl, you. you. I'm 23. I'm 22, girl. I do that. I'm 22. I just celebrated my 41st birthday. What? I'll you don't look a day over 40. <laughs> 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 oh, God. That's why I said she was my eldest. <laughs> That's why I said that whore was my grandmother's elder. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you was going to come in and get me. Oh. I said that. Oh my god! Anyway, I'm enjoying the radio. This is the second time around doing radio. Yeah, you I'm on um, B103. It. Yeah, the Frank One Morning Show. Child. Back again. We're all back. Listen, let me tell you something. This sh- you should have never went nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what I want to know? When the whole cat was. <laughs> oh, I was Where, definitely to say. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Where were you that day? Because you weren't in the studio that day, right? What Cat Williams? When, uh, what happened? When, when um, Wanda and Cat got into it, but I know you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. So everybody keep asking me that. I don't know what is. What when are they, they got talking into about? It, when Cat and Wanda got don't into force it. it. Right, right. No, don't force it. No, seriously, I do. I do like four events every year. I do four events. One of them is Fall Tacular, which right, is coming yeah. up this weekend. Uh-huh. Then I do the SGL Cruise, which right. I just did like last week, mm-hmm. and then there is Duval. I host Miss Duval every year and uh, another event MBU. called Celsation. Celsation. What about MBU? Did you MBU, you know, I haven't been doing MBU for the last couple of years, but last night I did go and uh, I host talent at MBU, so we could talk about that as well. But the other event is Celsation. And Celsation is where we like fly to like Puerto Rico or somewhere. We have a weekend over there. And that's why I was during the oh, Cat okay. Williams situation. Okay. So tell us where they can find you. But I'm gonna ask you some things about MBU. Well, I'm uh, I'm here locally at the uh, radio station V103. You have to put v-103.com because if you put V103, you'll go to the one in Chicago. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I'm hosting karaoke at Mix on Wednesday I night. Every every Wednesday night, I host karaoke. I got to come Mix. out there and sing. Yeah, come sing. Y'all sing got some Negro song. spirits on the on the time. No. You don't have to say no Negro spirit. I want to. You can say that girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's Why done you her research. Why you gonna abandon your song? Well, that girl. You do know she still hasn't told us what she thought about the old Cowboys Bond thing. Oh, hell, you go. No, back. no. I want to know. The, do you think? Do you think it was a fair kind of comedic? And then it just kind of got sensitive on Wanda's side. This My sir. take on it is Cat Williams, quick. He, he was quick. Because I saw the whole He wouldn't last what you want. He wouldn't no, last. He, no, no, you, you wouldn't finish. He wouldn't last what you. So no, fear. but my whole take on it is I uh I don't know what I would have done because everybody's asking what would you have done had you been there, yeah. and I don't know what I would have done had I been there. Yeah. But I do know that I would not have just sat there and done nothing. Right. So I would have done something. Right. But also I respect the fact. Fact that God saw cared enough about me not to have me in harm's way. Uh-huh. So he took me out of the building the day that it happened, and he also kept me out of the building the day that they had to come back Monday and clean it up. Yeah. So it's just uh, yeah. like I'm just grateful that, you know, I wasn't there, yeah. you know, Friday or Monday. And yeah. then it's just like, you know, because there could there's no way they could say, well, it could have, it would have been over, but Sophia, but he would have stopped, but Sophia. So it's just like since Sophia is out of the equation, I had nothing to do with it. And they can't put me nowhere in there. Sophia, I have said on, and I'm gonna go back to my earlier statement on on so many occasions. You've you've, you've seen the people tag us saying that we both funny, but I've always bowed and said that there's no queen. <laughs> Funnier than you. You've heard me say this on numerous again, like this. Sophia will be baby. Yeah. You, cause yeah. I've been following you since I was a child, girl. Just, just. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I've been following I, you for so long, and I've also been. Um, ooh, yes. I've been following <laughs> you for so long, and I've also been. Uh, I, you are a reason why that I continuously went to. Miss Black Universe. I appreciate because, it. Because girl, you, you used also, to you used to come out there, you used to hit the I used to wait on you to get it, do the <laughs> in God there is no failure. <laughs> and I used to be like, who is this coming? Like when I first started coming here to Atlanta, uh-huh. the first thing you get, oh. Keep going, I'll get it. That's Thanks. the driver. He following me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> he saw you still got Stacey Abrams coming up here. <laughs> so like the, the I was introduced to really 
black gay through you. Oh. I honestly was like, because I'm from Miami, honey. You know, we, hold on, this production company, hold on. She's like Charlie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm well. That's Miss Sophia. You know Miss Sophia, don't you? I do not. Okay, well, you ain't fully versed. I'm sorry. You ain't fully versed. Versed. You ain't well versed. Okay, well, you ain't well versed, so you don't need to be amongst us two ladies right now. <laughs> Vince, what's that on your left? You got hold of a Uh uh, don't do that. No. We is on a live tape, and don't you start oh, talking Jesus about nobody's Christ. stuff no, down don't here. Don't do that. Why would you do that? Why no, would you be no, on no, a live no. tape and talking about this okay, man's health status? This is an Atlanta. Answer. Now I got an answer. So, <laughs> what happened is because I've changed my diet, I've been breaking out everywhere. Where? On the ball soon? No, <laughs> just in my and my skin. That's part of your skin. Yes. <laughs> that's happened to that's happened in Baltimore. Now you see how messy Craig is. Y'all Craig is messy. But did you hear how he tried to blame it on my city, Baltimore? Well, listen, well, we, we, we were in a very we were in a very upset. obscene place in Baltimore. Honey. I didn't tell him to get a, get a hold of no dirty dick. Well, honey, you didn't have to get a hold of no dirty. You just had to walk in the building. That's it. I just posted my HIV negative status. You ain't got to be. Not to say that that means you're dirty. Not that that means that. Let me tell you something. The statuses can always be altered. Oh God. We are in the great city of Atlanta. If you take medication for a long period of time and run up to some unknown clinic, you can still get a minus. Hey, can I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I hate you all. <laughs> no, you really um. don't. <laughs> but like I was saying, Sophia, before we were really interrupted by production. It's late How do you fetish? <laughs> fried fish in the morning. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sophia, you have really, really, <laughs> you've been, a, you have really been an inspiration into into all my comedic stuff. I found, I found comics like you yourself, you know, you know, older comics. <laughs> <laughs> season, season. Your comedic timing is boo. You, Ooh. Funky Daniva. Uh, who else did they used to say? You know, we got to go way back in the time. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get me to curse, Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> the devil trying to use <laughs> No, but Miss Sophia, I just want to, I really want to say thank you for coming doing the show. And it, I'm, I'm actually honored that you are here on my, my oh, little show. Thank you for inviting bringing me. Bringing all that power and pizzazz and all the things <laughs> that you've brought with you. Because it's just like... I've been watching you and I've been a, and I've been a fan and admired you for so long for just being just so girl you're so funny like people don't know you they just need to just Google mm-hmm. <laughs> and you a church queen like me yeah honey we love the Lord yeah I just ain't a Christian no more because I done found out all types of stuff so I'm more spiritual because I it's feel like a, you know more spiritual because honey there was too many rules in that book. <laughs> <laughs> There she go. She give me the album back. I feel the I feel the rise is coming up on my back. You know how grease fall on your back? I feel the rise is coming up on my back. She looking at you, baby. I love the Lord, but I just ain't. I just you know I'm just I just ain't subscribed to certain situations and things no more. You know, being a yeah. queen and stuff like that, honey. And you know, going you a queen. The, a <laughs> queen, yeah, with a Q. Oh. <laughs> A queen would have killed, you know. <laughs> how do you feel about that? How do you feel about being, or how much time do we got? Okay, we good. How do you feel about being, you know, do you identify, what do you identify as? Are you, are you, do you identify as gay, as trans? You know, it's very important, especially because when I start frying, Caitlyn Jenner no balls having ass <laughs> the night. I got to make sure that you don't fall up under that because I don't care what they say about me. <gasps> but I got to make sure that I'm not offensive to I. I'm really a real woman. <laughs> <laughs> but I have pretended for so long so I can be in this line of work with you guys. Oh, with us, <laughs> the gays. <laughs> uh, with the gays. No, you know what? Vegas. You know what? I'm just a gay guy. Mm-hmm. I'm just a gay guy. And all the terminology, it doesn't offend me one way or the other. But when I come in contact with people and because of the platform that I have, I do let people know that just because I'm not offended doesn't mean it's doesn't not mean offensive. That everybody is not offended. So you have right. to treat each individual on an individual base. You have to ask that individual what they want to be referred to. Right. And that's why I was like, you know, before I started calling you sir, I wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> 
see, she was shy me, Miss Mary, but just like I said, sir doesn't offend me. <laughs> <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Oh my God! I think we're gonna have a really, really good show tonight. <laughs> really good show tonight because this is a like I really, genuinely do love you, Sophia. I love I do, you I too. I love you, girl. Like you don't even know. I swear to God, I, I put this on everything. I used to come out to the Monday, uh, my Monday night show. Yes, I, the Monday night show. You I did. know you did. I did. You did. Used to come there, honey, but they never booked me. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you weren't doing shows. I can, though. You weren't doing shows back then. You just started doing shows and... The days began. You, you, oh, my God. You, now, you know music. And there's no one. That's one thing about you and fucking that Neva. Y'all know some we music, baby. We music because we from Florida. We Florida queens. You know? <laughs> you from... You really from Dallas? I'm originally from Houston. Oh, you from Houston. Yeah. Listen, I was just talking about how some good dinglings that be running all up and through Houston. It's so good. <laughs> be careful. I got to keep Miss Mary out of Houston because, you know, you give her a cup of holy water, it runs straight to her nature. That's what she say. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! It runs to her nature, child. It ran right down there to her, honey. You know we can't have a nature jumping up and down out there in Texas. But you know we from Florida. You know I just I girl, you're so witty and so funny. Oh my god! You don't even know how much I love you. I thank you. I love you, you too, honey. You don't even know, girl. But you know what I love about you? I love the uh, relationship that you have with your mom because it's just like. It's a rarity in the black community. Yeah. It's like I had another friend that was just like you. He and his mom lived just like you and your mom. And then it's just like, you know, I could never do half of the stuff that you do, do it, but in your front mama. of your mama. How you talk in front of your mom, I could well, never do that. But see, this that. is the thing. But this is the thing I got to say. I respect Miss Mary like now. And I always tell her before we do shows, before I do it. Because my mother is, knows I'm an entertainer. Right. And I take her with me because uh, I want her to see, like I need her to see what's going on out here in the world. I said, Mommy, listen, now you know I'm a cuss. <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't want to have to turn around every 30 seconds and say, excuse me, so I'm asking you now, excuse me, Mommy. <laughs> I'm going to cuss. I'm going to tell nasty jokes. Mm. I'm going to tell nasty jokes about you because you know they see us together. <laughs> You know, so go on and forgive me now. That's just like you go in the, in the room and say, Lord, listen, that, that you made works. me, so I got to go forgive me forgive me up front. It, it works, and I know you say that, but it's still her expressions when you say <laughs> certain <laughs> things. Because I always get off guard. You get your off guard. I yeah. always do, you know. And her expressions are so organic, honey, that's what makes it just so. It, uh, and, she, and she don't know that people follow us. They follow us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just. And I don't want my mommy to ever feel like that, I, that I'm disrespectful to her, or whatever. But she know that I'm a filthy comic. Yeah, and then it's just like we see the love, and we know you love your mom. And then it's just like you go and you do things for her, and yeah. we see all of that. We see the good side as well as what we consider the bad side. <laughs> Although it's not the bad side, it's just you being an entertainer. Oh, that's it. But the funniest times are when you and Miss Mary get in that car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Baby, let me tell you something. Get that car. Don't let that. Don't let her start eating on camera. She want all those videos deleted. Anytime she be on that camera eating, she want all. I want all of it. Take all that down. I don't like them seeing me eat like that. I see what they see. You, they see you eat a slap, and they see all that mayonnaise running down your shirt. You don't. You don't want them to see that, do you? Okay. But I just, mommy, do you? Do you? Don't I always ask you to forgive me? Like, and I always ask you to. Child, you just put me on the spot sometimes. <laughs> I can't do nothing but laugh. <laughs> well, mama, you know that. We my all, we all know you in our family. You, you, you done took the place of where your auntie is gone, and you always you got your nature of your aunt with making us laugh. And I, and I don't care what they're saying. You disrespect me. I know you don't disrespect me. No, I do me not. I do because not. Because I, I know you have, I know you have your job to do, and I tell you, and I tell all your people around you when they say, "Excuse me, Miss Mary," I tell them, "Be who you are," because I ain't God. But show I, late. I <laughs> show late, God. Not the way she used to tear this ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Child, she just all talk back there now. But I know, I know you have a, a job. You have a job to entertain, and I laugh with some of the stuff too. Yeah, and I yes, you heard her, baby. She ran on the slide. She said she laughed at some of the stuff too. Not she, all of it, but some of them. She don't like me talking about that grundle. <laughs> <laughs> that thing that howl at the moon, that woo. 
<laughs> that wolf coochie shit. I want me talking oh. about that. <laughs> my daddy gave me all the secrets. Oh my god. I'll tell you that ain't his daddy. Yeah. All right, y'all. Listen, I want you guys to tune into the show. And if you haven't already tuned in, go back and watch it again. Sophia, you know what? What, girl? We're going to do a live show again here in Atlanta. And according to how you do tonight, you know, we may have to get you on the payroll for that. Oh, you hear her, Miss Mary? According to how I do tonight. (laughs) How about... How about I just don't do tonight? I just show up for that game. <laughs> <laughs> Booked. <laughs> but it's on Christmas Eve. You gonna be in Atlanta on Christmas? Christmas Eve? I might. See, I know Sophia's a family girl. That's why when I was mentioning it, I'm like, because oh. <laughs> I mean, but you can always fly me. home on Christmas. Yeah. Christmas morning, maybe. We, we can get her to fly home on Christmas morning. First class. We'll fly first class. Mm. Get a box of pizza and fly first class. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I think they will love that though. We'll, we gotta see. I, I know they're gonna love it, you know, because she's loved. You know what I'm saying? The, the black community love her. I don't know if the white folks know her, but the black folks. <laughs> you don't know if the white, the white, fo- the white folks don't know me. The, I the know white who, folks. The I know white folks birthed me. I know who they. <laughs> listen, I know who they do know. Who? You've been robbed. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the podcast, guys. The show. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> oh my God! You want? Do you like? Do you like Perry Mason? <laughs> <laughs> do you like Perry Mason? Like Perry Mason? Oh my God! Amen. All right, guys, we love you, and we will see you next week. Well, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Get those tickets for DC, November the twelfth. Matter of fact, run that merch, you. Washington DC is you live? Is you live, ho? Or are you Ooh. live? Oh yes, honey, the Queen's Supreme uh. is bringing the seat to your city. Uh. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You to stop what you're doing right now and get over to www.eventbrite.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Washington, D.C. Now, don't you sit around here and wait for those tickets to sell out because they're gonna burn up fast, honey. Get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets. Funky Daniva Ross. New York Tiffany Parlor and T.S. Madison is about to come and shake your city down, baby. That's right. Don't beat me there. Beat me there. (laughs) See you soon, Roy.